everyone, my name is Christian from Solatec Solutions and in this week's video I'm going to show you how to control the, all the different user data inside SolidWorks Electrical. So as you might know, SolidWorks Electrical, inside SolidWorks Electrical, we can add a lot of custom properties to all different types of symbols, revisions, projects, um, so we can add our own company information to those projects. This can be done by user data 1 through to user data 19, I think it is. Now, if I right click, for instance, on, or if I just select our project and I would go to properties, we can see over here that we've got user data 1 and user data 2. I can customize that over here and just change the description of user data to anything I want. I can even add multiple user data is in here so maybe even go more have more custom properties in there those custom properties can then be used in reports um, similarly if I right click on my book go to revisions for instance here we have different type of user data it's the same name but we control it differently so where do we control all of this if I drop down my configuration arrow here and left click on user data we are in the user data configuration management. On the left hand side over here are all the different user data descriptions that we can modify. So that's a whole list of things that we can add our own user data to. Um, but let's have a closer look at the one for the project. So if I double click on here, that will open up the user data customization um, for my project. Here, I can then change user data to anything I want. Maybe change this to So now you can see user data has now been changed over here. Now because I changed this in an application setting, Every time I start off a new project, it will use the description of the user data. I can also choose to only do something custom for this project. What I need to do is then left click on this button over here, add to project. I can now double click over here and now modify it for only this project. If I just leave it in there like so and just close this, have a look at my project properties again. You can now see that my user data has been updated by the correct description. As I said before, because we've updated the application settings, every time we start a new project, it will automatically have those settings there. We can do the same for revisions. So let's have a look at uh, revisions. Again, I've got user data one, user data two. Um, we can insert user data by clicking the insert user data button. And as you can see, you can then type in any description over here and it will automatically be added. We can also insert a group, which makes a new group. So you can, it will give it a new header for instance. So you can even add new groups in there if you want to. Um, okay, so let's do the revision maybe we have an ACO number that we need to specify in each revision. And I'm just going to click on OK. Now add this to my project. The only reason why I'm adding it to the project right now is because I've already created the project. If I wouldn't add it to the project, the change would not have been propagated through to this project, only the new ones. So if I close this off, I would right click on my primary pump document and I would go to revisions. You can now see that I've got this new column ECO number added to my revision management. Now you can just go back in here and you can do that for all the different type of uh, reports or all the different type of user data that you can do. So as you can see SolidWorks Electrical is very customizable. Thank, that's it for this week's video. Thank you for watching.